I've played the game, I just haven't played it on stream. Played it through actually like two or three times. Once for me, once for uh, Jessica, and then once for Harrison, my ex-boyfriend. It just seems kind of redundant to play it on stream. I mean, I'll do it. I also really like Monica. I like her as a uh, portrait of the average individual with borderline personality disorder who thinks that they're healthy, but are actually completely unhealthy, and the only reason they haven't noticed it is because they haven't seen the effects that they have on people that they're attracted to or label as their favorite people, their FPs. I mean, my other one is Bojack Horseman. No, 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 no. I actually remember distinctly on stream giving you uh, my story about how, like, uh, I was really drunk one October morning about a month after it came out, and I really am crazy about spoiler fuel, so I stayed far, far away from anything that would have spoiled it for me. I was drunk and I read it on a list of great horror games, and it was described as uh, being somewhat like a... Uh, as subversive as the Phoenix Wright games, except instead of being uh, dramatic in regard to story and death, it was more like uh, it would subvert almost anything and everything else about schoolgirl shit. And honestly, it was a bit uh, overhyped, but at the same time, a lot of the people who ended up hating it because of the overhype have like really tinted opinions that I think render uh, their analysis a bit invalid over the more philosophical aspects of it or over appreciating the weird structural uh, consistencies for, you know, their foreshadowing to actually fulfilling that foreshadowing. I think that they did a pretty solid job with it. I'm glad it was free because I probably would have been pissed if I paid for it, but I ended up liking it quite a bit because, you know, I had no real expectations. I just knew it was a free game with cute girls doing cute things. I mean, look at what game I'm playing right now. It's all cute girls doing cute things. Well, a cute girl doing cute things. She blows little kisses. So, Steam is up. Hmm. Most popular mods for a hat in time. I'm just gonna check some of these real quick. Hmm. Okay. First, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Some of the shit. <laughs> uh, just hold on. Hold on. No, I, I, I will. Okay, there. It's some pretty low effort shit. Okay, so there's a mod that reverses everything. PlayStation original die. That's pretty cool. You look at PSX. Huh. 
Let's see what's most popular for all time. Oh, holy fuck. Oh, God. The Gold Leaf Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy is on here. So, so Oh, my God, they have so many Mario 64 maps. There are so many Mario 64 maps. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The fucking Cappy Cap from Super Mario Odyssey is a mod for this. PT is a mod for this. Playable Mustache Girl is a mod. Small relax. Jesus Christ. We're just gonna sit here while I ramble for a little bit and download this tiny, tiny shit because there's no way that I'm not playing this this stream. Okay. F fucking hell. This is all incredible. I am really happy with how. Oh my god. Is there just like a Mario 64 and Mario Galaxy collection I can just download? That would be great. I would really appreciate that. Mafia Chuckster Training Grounds. Okay. You guys are going to be seeing a good chunk of this, but just trust me here. Oh my god, there's a little ribbon! You can give her a little ribbon instead of the spring hat and she'll blow little kisses on you! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, there's an Ace Attorney case called a hat in crime! There's an Ace Attorney case called a hat in crime! Oh my god! I am so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. There's a lot of mods. There's a lot of mods, and I'm getting really excited. They are all really good. Like, you don't understand how good these are. Like, I meant to only do, like, a couple from one page, and I'm just clicking down on almost all of them because they're all this good. The mods for this are incredible. Oh my god, there's a Kirby hat! Oh my god, and you can change the expression that's on her face! Ah! Okay. Okay. Just one more page. Just one more page. Okay. Zelda weapon pack. God, yes. Sky Temple Origins. Parade Time Rift. Secret Slide Rift. One small... That's not gonna be... Oh my god, Raz's Goggles from Psychonauts. Joker Cross from Persona 5. Link's hat with compatible die. Okay. Speedy cloud lane, flood level. Okay. I've been ridiculous for too long. I need to actually start playing this fucking game. It's been 10 minutes. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm getting the mods to download. 10 minutes, men minutes. 10 minutes, Shen minutes. Come on, give me that good shit. You know, maybe I should have played Mega Man 3 tonight. That would have been a good time. That would have been a fantastic time. Come on, that steam. Why you gotta do me like this? Oh. I see where the problem was. And it means I gotta end Steam again, fix something in Process Lasso. I am so sorry, Process Lasso, but you are a piece of shit.
Come on, boot steam. Boot steam, boot steam, boot. Whew. Why does Steam hate me? Do you guys know? Why would Steam hate me this much? It doesn't really make sense to me. Why Steam would treat me like it is racist to me or something. Maybe if I wore a head covering, Steam would be nice to me. Man, maybe I normally do wear a head covering and it mistakes me for a fox. Or a sad, sad sexual furry instead of... Just a weird guy who likes fox hats, I don't know. All I know is that Steam is racist. So I'm not sure if uh, any of my mods downloaded, they probably didn't. Not really happy. Come on, a hat in time modding update. Give me some of that sweet, sweet loving, baby. No, 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 it's just booting right now. It, uh, is taking a moment. It's in 64-bit, so, uh, it's probably just... Oh, it's also in DirectX 9, fuck. Why is it in DX9? Can't I force it to be DX11 or something? Please let my pad work. Oh, what? Come on. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. This is very frustrating. Exclude from smart trim. Exclude from pro balance. Disable eye saver while running. Classify as a high performance process. Oh, it's downloading my Hat in Time Workshop content. That's why it's eating CPU. Hold on, let's give it a second. I'm low-key kind of pissy about this, actually. I really hate you, Steam. Steam, why are you ruining my fucking stream? Just download it. Oh, holy fuck. Uh... What drive is a Hat in Time installed on? Because it is trying to download quite a bit of, uh, mods right now. To be precise, it is trying to download 11 gigabytes of mods because I have no self-control. Okay.
I'm putting the music back on because I've got to reinstall a hat in time. I'm just going to sit here for a little bit. This is really frustrating, but it will not be that frustrating. Just need to move it onto the C drive. And then everything will be peachy. It'll be installing onto an SSD, so I won't be waiting that long. I'm pretty, I'm pretty frustrated. I don't blame you if you want to go, Valentine. Not at all. I will be sitting here doing this, though. Hmm, what is going on? Your tummy hurts and you want company? Oh, baby girl. I'm sorry. It's called cauliflower, it's not gross broccoli. Listen, kid, I know what I saw. Christ. I'm gonna read you all Facebook memes. You know, I hate this so much. I'm just gonna move to the waiting screen again. Yeah, we're in a golden spot right here. Bubblegum or orange creamsicle? This is an important question for a grown man. Bubblegum lollipop or orange creamsicle lollipop before I play video games? Important grown man problems. Come on, a hat and tie. Oh shit, we're already three gigabytes in. What do you know? We haven't even been waiting that long. It's only been 20 minutes. <laughs> Let's go with the orange cream. What are you making that emote for? So I don't understand your weird hieroglyphic language. Yeah. I'm running 250 down, 15 up. Keep in mind that I'm also streaming while all of this is happening. Twelve point three gigabytes of a hat in time mods. What the fuck? I'm serious, just look at this for a second. Let's look at this ridiculousness. We won't be here that long. I'm just gonna sit here and ramble for a bit because I was really looking forward to doing those mods this stream and I didn't expect my hard drive to be a problem. Obviously this means I need even more hard drives than I already have, right? I should do a Frog Fractions and Frog Fractions 2 stream, you know that? That'd be good. Does this, does this screen hurt to watch? Let's download some updates for other games while we're at it. May as well, right?
Time initiated, 11.06. Time now, almost 11.11 p.m. at 11.11. Downloaded, 3.9 gigabytes. <laughs> Wanna see something even worse? These are my uh, temps and specs. We got some odd fluctuations in, oh, I see, it's Steam and Streamlabs messing with each other a little bit. For a second there, I thought the thermal pace was running a little weak, but was still functioning. Well, I put this rig in the setup together that I've shown you specifically for game development and streaming so that I could attract people to uh, get into game development with me. The big th thing that I'm trying to do here is get a small community of artists, musicians, coders, and idea men to work not necessarily under me but in the position where I am guiding but they have equal say so that I can make a uh, project that everyone can be proud of. But that starts here and now by attracting weird nerds with weird video games. Designers. Idea men. Is, have you never heard the equivalency there between designers and idea men? I mean, I suppose I got enough ideas myself, but it can't hurt to have other people around. You gotta have other people around to temper you crazy when you're crazy. Otherwise, you're going to make up shitty records. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm sorry. Idea people. That totally made my message more coherent and reasonable and totally didn't gut the meaning out. This is why I don't like leftists, even though I identify with them infinitely more than the right. Because they stunt communication so thoroughly that I doubt that the mentally ill and the troubled people that they try to defend could actually take part in the discourse because of how bougie and white it is. Suck on that. Seems like we'll be done by 11.16 p.m. 11.14 currently... I really hope that these mods are worth fucking 12 gigabytes. Because otherwise I'm going to be pissed. Got something better than Minesweeper. Watch Morph Blade take the entire fucking time that it takes to download left. To boot. This is Morph Blade. Everyone dies in one hit, and some of these things have little effects on them. This has knockback on double hit targets. The uh, hammer. Tile. 
This allows me to... Oh, shit. God, why didn't it give me a blade there? Give me all arrows. Arrows fucking suck. Need the blade to be able to take dudes out like that. Let's create a little bit of a corridor here. Put a hammer on this. Oh, fuck no. Oh, it allows me to move two tiles. I'm done. So arrow doesn't completely suck, but I still hate it. Another little corridor here. Slice him. Slice him. Slice him. Heal. And slice him. Hat and time's done. Hmm. I'll stop when- oh, I was about to say I'll stop when I die, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Eleven seventeen PM is when it was done. So we're in a golden spot right now. I should not have any more issues with Steam being mean to me. Wish I could run the game in DX12, that'd be really nice. Hmm. Why is it showing my wallpaper in the goddamn window? What the fuck, Windows 10? How about you suck my cack? Suck my cack, Windows 10. Suck my cack hard. I'm just practicing for my male Bayonetta cosplay. Is the background unintended? You mean the fox thing? Uh, the game is still booting. This just shows in the background when, uh, the game is booting. DX9 games don't like to play nicely with 10 series cards, it seems. It's usually why I try to run them in compatibility with DX10 or DX8, but DX8 is kind of shit, so it's often better to just pretend DX8 never exists and just suck it up. I like all the Star Fox logos for a... God damn it, Hat in Time. Do you want me to call Shad Man on you? Don't make me call Shad Man on you, fucking Hat in Time. I'm getting pissy. What the fuck is even happening? <laughs> what the fuck is it even doing? I'm getting really pissy here right now, you know that? Okay, I'm rebooting the game. It should, uh, be fine. It seemed like it was just having a little bit of a hiccup with the CPU or something. I don't know. <laughs> Local game developer Justin Lee is reporting looking for people to help create his new game idea, which he describes as an MMORPG with multiple endings where your choices matter. 
where he plans to supply the ideas while his co-workers do everything else. Fucking tag me next time. Oh my god, is it really gonna try to load all of them at once? No, motherfucker, let me choose it through a goddamn loader, no! No, don't do this to me! <laughs> Christ, it's trying, to, it's trying to load them all! It's trying to load them all at once! <laughs> Why do you not have a mod loader available for your fucking game with mods enabled that you're giving people money as a prize to mod- Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> why, God, why? <laughs> when I play this game now, I'm gonna have to fucking, like, boot it up, like, ten minutes in advance. <laughs> oh my god, on the stream window, it gives two Bible thumbs, one big and one small, and it looks like he's sitting on a bigger Isaac. Jesus Christ, I've been sitting here for almost... God damn it. So much of my stream is... Uh... <laughs> oh my <yeah, it's> like... <laughs> What is even going on right now? Newsflash, 5 gigabyte games might crash when you try to load 12 gigabytes of mods into them. Hmm. I don't know, New Vegas is one of the most unstable games I've ever played, and I was able to install, like, 30 into that. So I don't understand what the issue is. Gigabytes, that is, when I said 30. What's fucking terrifying? 12 gigabytes of mods into a 30, or into a uh, 5 gigabyte game? 30 gigabytes of mods into a 10 gigabyte game? Well, you see, I'm a terrible person. Oh my...
Holy fuck, it's working. No saving. So what is it going to do to me now, now that it's working? Just watch it crash the moment that I get into the ship. It is actually running... Okay, so, one of the mods I installed makes it so that all my inputs are reversed, and this is scary. I also have Cappy from Super Mario Odyssey. I'm scared. I'm scared, but this is actually an incredible way to play the game, holy shit! <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god, look at this! Look at this! <laughs> oh my god! That actually gives you Kirby powers? If you didn't want me here, you shouldn't have thrown me that time piece. Okay, so the modding community in this game is incredible.
Okay, this is a lot better now. What's a Link Hat do? Okay, the Link Hat is another die compatible. Okay. Sanic Hat! Oh my god, it's even faster than the Sprint Hat! Oh my god, it's even fucking faster! <laughs> this is dumb! Oh my god, let's try a custom. Welcome back, tiny baby alien. Okay. <laughs> Must proceed quickly. I have to see what this is. I have to see if this is as good as it looks. Does my voice sound okay? Is the game mixed all right? Audio wise. Okay. Was this worth the fucking wait though? Oh my god. Mods in this game are awesome. I'm making the soy face because this is so awesome. My wife's boyfriend bought me a Nintendo Switch. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'm Sanic! Oh my god, I'm fucking Sanic! Do you have any love for Mario 64? Oh my fucking god, I'm Sanic! I'm fucking Sanic! Holy shit! Oh my fucking shit, I don't think I was meant to go this fast! I don't think I was meant to go this fast in here! Why, God? Why? Yes, kill yourself, little boss! I find it hard to have nostalgia for 3D games because it's so obvious how bad some of their controls are, but... Oh my god. They really went the distance with this one. Rolling around at the speed of sound. This ain't my game, you know, but I'm here to get you. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get the red coins. Fuck. Okay, this is fucking great. It's a lot easier to get the red coins when they're the only coins. Okay, this is honestly a really, really good recreation. It honestly might be too good because they could have... They really could have uh, made it a little bigger if they wanted with how much the speed is even without the Sonic hat. Oh my god, the Raz Hat gives you levitation from Psychonauts. Oh my fucking god, this is the greatest game I've ever played in my entire life. Oh my god, this is great! You could also use it to hold uh, the ball up in the air, but you can't do that with this version. I mean, if you consider this ball of energy to be invisible to everyone else who isn't a psychic, you can consider pretty good reasons why they might call it levitation. Tim Schafer makes really weird universes that don't make sense except within their own context. It's his best and it's his worst feature. Hey, baby. Okay, I'm sorry if this is super boring, but I love this so much. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Okay, I forgot about this badass attack. If I remember that exists too many times, I'm just gonna spam it and do nothing else like I did that. Hey, there's probably something in here, isn't there? Is this where the other coin is?
Oh my god! She's so sad and she's blowing me little kisses! No! Why are you blowing me little kisses, baby girl? Why are you the cutest little thing I've ever fucking... Get in the hole! Get in the hole! You're being a bad girl! Get in the hole! I swear to god. Bad girls get put into the pear wiggler to atone for their sins. Okay. That was fun, but I'm gonna do that another time. This is a good indicator of what kind of fucked up shit it's gonna throw at me. I'm gonna keep talking to this guy. My little heart can't take this beauty. Express Owls in the Gold Leaf Galaxy. You know, I'm gonna do the Beta Hero Challenge after this because that looks hard. Okay, so modding in this game. Why didn't I mod this game earlier? Holy fuck! I'm becoming a giddy little child right now. <laughs> Holy fuckles, this is the cutest thing. Why is it taking so long to boot, though? Come on, hat and time display. Come on, baby. Give me that loving. You want to boot for me, maybe? You want to work hat and time? And show me some cool shit? You want to do your job? Maybe. That'd be really cool. If you wanted to work, because I paid for you. Infowars wasn't even really banned from anywhere. It's all a hoax and Alex Jones is a crisis actor. Oh, really? Is it because May mains have one IQ? It's coming back. The game is back. Mm. 
The conductor keeps calling me and crying like a baby. Hookshot badge and dweller mask are recommended. Leftover bombs went kaboom. Hello, fellow Express Owl. It sure has been a while. What type of mushroom do you think this is? Purple one. This has a purple one. It's a purple one. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, I can use it as a platform? Okay. Oh my god, okay, this is some crazy tech here. This could actually be really helpful in the long run. Oh, I see. You hate me. Okay, that's cool as shit. I like this little Pat Girl statue here. This is adorable. Okay. Santa Cat. That should not have worked, but it did! Holy fuck, this game is broken now. I broke the game, Mom! I broke it! Oh my god. I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking crow now. I'm a little crow. <laughs> okay, that's dumb. I'm really proud of them for doing that, though, the modder. Okay. Sanic time, motherfucker. I am the speed. I am the wind. I am the wind! Never mind, I suck. What's up, Express Owls? Wow, this is a really, really adorable crossover. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Man, this is the best shit ever. I love this so much. Okay. Okay, this level was not designed with this hat in mind at all, but I really like the way that this feels right now. Can't get anyone to play a shitty Korean MMO. Wait, why is she doing a little dance here? Oh, it's a sunglass machine? Okay. I'm so cute.
What is even going on here? Okay, this is great. I honestly can't believe all of the fucking work they put here into this. This is impressively adorable. Oh, fuck no. Eat my ass. Yep. This is something I can do. I don't know what it'll help with, but I like it a lot. Oh man, I can't just... okay. What? Okay, there's a way up there. There's a way up there, okay. There's probably a lot more to this level than what I actually found already. Probably was not supposed to be here yet. Jesus Christ. Basically just bypassing the level design to beat it with Super Mario Odyssey mechanics. Jesus Christ, this should not be workable at all. Okay. Oh wow, that's adorable. Oh hey, what the fuck is this? Purple one mushrooms are extraordinary. Hey, I found a timepiece. <coughs> wow, this is so fucking cute. The little jig she does sometimes. Oh my god, she is the cutest little thing. I love you, that girl. Jesus Almighty in heaven. She is such a good girl. She is the best girl, and she needs to be protected. This whole thing takes an hour to beat. No, that's not what I just selected. I should do this at some point, but I don't know if I should do it now. You know?
I didn't hold it. That was the luckiest. That was the luckiest thing that's ever happened to me. I just need to be hat girl. Yeah. This looks like the secret levels of Mario Sunshine. Yeah. Fuck it, it's time to be Sanic. Oh god, no, my depth perception is terrible! Confidence! Confidence! Little alien girls love confidence! I see why that's not allowed now. Judge me. I give up. These are insanely good mods. Look, I don't even have to fucking try to win. I mean, I gotta admit, it's still fun. But there's no real challenge. I gotta make myself try this. They worked really hard on this. I tried. I at least tried. I'm not doing that again. You can't make me. Yeah, I was I was just saying this, actually. I don't know if you heard me. This is a lot like uh the secret courses of Mario Sunshine. I was actually even saying this back up. Uh, oh I figured you can just go if you want. It's not a big deal. I mean I can just swap to the generic talk script at that point. You know, I'm fucking hacking in a goddamn game basically right now, and I'm still rolling my eyes at your fucking card shit. Like, Jesus Christ, half of them are probably console players. Do you think you're actually going to be doing anything? They're too dumb to get mad, and they're too dumb to put up an argument that makes them look stupider. They're just going to be stuck at their same vanilla level of console player may stupid. Herder, my character can survive anything and is also 50 HP thicker than anyone else. Herder, how do I die? I have an invincibility button. Why did I die? Obviously the game is broken. This is really stressful right now. What the fuck? Okay, why are all these- okay. Rift token. What the fuck is a rift token? I might need to, like, disable the Kirby hat, because it is making me... What the fuck is this? Okay, that's cool as shit.
Wow. The Kirby head is making it way too easy, but then again, I don't think this is a game that's supposed to be hard. Uh, it downvoted on the Steam store. I don't know, she probably gets sad. I'll play a bad map. I'll play a map that looks bad. Oh my god, it's called a hat and crime. This looks bad. I'll downvote this map, whether or not it's good, because I want to. You're going to cry. What a coincidence, me too. Why is Leo a homo? Okay, this song makes me so happy. Because it reminds me of DJ Grooves! No! No! Okay. She won't face the right direction. She can't turn in midair, apparently. There are actually difficult levels for this game. This is fucking hard as shit. No, this is awesome. This is awesome. Oh my god, they all got little hats and glasses. Okay, that was me being bad. I know, I love everything about this. I'm fat fingering L2. That's a sign that I am being a dum dum. I really appreciate the PlayStation button icons here. It is really helping me. Okay, I feel really bad if I'm gonna download, downvote this map. This is awesome. This is hard as fuck, though. Do you see the amount of effort they're putting into this shit? I sure wish I was here with my buddy, DJ Grooves. No! What the fuck was that little dead of lights? Oh, sweet baby Jesus! Oh my god, do they really want me to do this? Oh my god! Oh my god, that was awesome! I love this! Oh my god. Oh my god, no. I don't know what it wants me to do there, but fuck me if I'm finding out. You can't make me! You can't make me lose! I don't wanna! I don't wanna! I don't wanna! Oh fuck it, I'll just drop down here and do what they wanted. I'm not that much of a dick. They put a lot of work into this, I may as well give it a try. Okay, this is really... Really good. Oh, fuck.
I mostly did that fair and square. I was having fun. <laughs> Fuck me if I'm... <laughs> I felt like I did enough of that fair to where I didn't care. Come on, I didn't... Uh, did you see how hard most of that was? Oh, oh! She's such a cute little baby. Okay, that was great. That song is always going to make me happy. You know that that song is always going to fill me with glee. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna get an alt account on Overwatch and name it DJ Grooves and roleplay DJ Grooves the entire time. Wonder if I can get a deep to try and roleplay the fucking conductor. Oh no! What? What are you oh knowing? Typing for that long, and that's the best you came up with. Really? Oh, I accidentally chose the next map, that's why it took so long. Where am I right now? Yes! Yes! I see it over there. Oh my god, holy shit, how did I make that? Why can't I change direction in midair? This sucks. Oh. Yeah. You know, maybe making these things a little bit brighter would be helpful. Maybe putting lights near them. Okay, or guiding me with this shit. That would be good too. What is this fucking bullshit? What is the Super Mario Brothers 3 speedrunner ass tech it's expecting me to do just to fucking eye fuck just to fucking sight read this level? Okay, I gotta admit I feel like a badass though. I love this game as a tackle button.
What the fuck? Nah, it's just being frustrating. Either that or I have another conflicting mod up right now. I got an idea. Infiltration mission. This is an infiltration mission. Yeah, that was pro. Super spy. Oh god, no, that's not what I. What the fuck? That hook is a liar. That hook is a liar. Fuckers. I'm gonna ruin your fucking life. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? Suck my cac. That's bad design. This is bad design. I am downvoting this one. Well, actually, I don't know if I should, but, like, that made me angry. I made a terrible mistake and I regret it. I made a terrible mistake and I regret it. They earned that. Is it the witch hat? I think it's the witch hat. Come at me. Go. I'm the champion. I love those little... those little wiggle noises.
Where's the Kirby hat when I need it? Did they use an actual picture of that Sonic hat as the... Yes, they did. Look. They modeled this hat after another hat. And then they used the actual picture of the hat as the... God damn it. Gotta give him this. This feels like a crazy ass infiltration mission that I shouldn't live through. Okay, down here. Yeah. Fucking kill me. Fucking kill me. Fucking kill me. Okay, you know that I know at what low function is being like better than any person but if you don't make yourself do the absolute bare minimum things like putting things in the microwave to eat you're going to be in a really bad spot and you're never going to be able to gain momentum to get progress you need to make yourself put that in there unless it's like your body is hurting you trust me take this from someone who lives alone and has had to make themselves you need to do this before it snowballs because it will snowball Bad efforts to snowball, a lack of effort snowballs, and positive effort snowball. That's one thing that I have learned from screwing myself over and over. If you choose to wait a lot of the time, especially when you're a procrastinator, you will end up in the same spot getting what you always got. This fucking ridiculous ass. Yeah, I just died, because I suck. Mm, judging by that response, you might already be snowballing into that. Which is fine. You know, can't be faulted for not being able to see the forest for the trees. I've been there. Or are you shitting on my dick? I, I just died again. Okay. Okay, that's 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 capital gay. Jesus Christ, is Leo still being autistic about his goddamn email address? Jesus Christ, how can you be so stubborn? It's not even, like, funny at this point. It's just like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I've got a cute little ribbon and everything's fine. I can't be mad when I got a cute little ribbon, right? Okay, I can be mad when I have a cute little ribbon. Test. Pass. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Why does it do this? I want to downvote this level for doing this to me. I don't even care. Suck my cack. Hey, I can be Richard from Hotline Miami. I think they probably just play tested it the right way and didn't uh, have someone who didn't know the solution. Oh my god, they forgot to end the fucking level music.
I meant to give that a negative review. I know I did. I don't even remember what it was either. Uh... An express turnabout. I know, but normally it would have been some. It definitely wasn't uh, the pillow fort one because that was the opposite of a pillow fort. So I don't know what parameters you used to select it because it didn't select me into the mission menu like it would have if it was a uh, the call base infiltration. Yes, it fucking is your fucking account! It is your fucking account, you fucking spurg! I can't get caught. Dead bird prison is nothing to joke about. Yeah, he's pissing me off too. Don't let him affect your functionality though. Depend on her, then no one will expect me. Suspect me. Then at 3 a.m. Dead Bird Court Lobby, Burjuary 15th. This is the beginning of a series of cases, most involving birds. On the 15th of Burjuary, 2018, Hat Kid stood in the lobby of Dead Bird Court. Hold on, I gotta tell them about this. On the 15th of Burjuary, 2018, Hat Kid stood in the lobby of Dead Bird Court. Oh, that's my man! Hey, you darling, you ready for this trial? Your auntie's freedom is on the line. Hat Kid's uncle's sister was accused of murdering an express owl on the Owl Express. I know the conductor is most definitely rigging this trial in one way or another. It'll be your job to see through his deception. I know you can do it, darling. On this fateful day, a fervent battle for truth and justice was about to begin. 9.05 AM, Dead Bird Courtroom number five. Would you like to enable hints? Fuck nah. But you were expecting a gavel slam, oh huh, folks? Too bad, by court, my rules! The judge looked pretty familiar to Hat Kid. Now then, you fools, court is now in session for... Uh, hey, kid, what's the defendant's name again? Leo's. His name is Leo Mail. Your name is Leo Mail. Feel free to screen cap this and send it to him if you want before I, uh... 
is gonna wait five, four, three, two, one, and acknowledge. Of course, that was a test to make sure you had your wits. Quad is now in session for Leo Mail. Is the defense ready? Always, Your Honor. We're doing just fabulously. That's great! A new prosecution? The prosecution is ready to win this thing. You two don't have a chance of getting the not guilty. I can assure you. Wonderful! And will the prosecution like to begin their opening statement? Certainly, Your Honor. Ahem. On the 12th of Berguary, at 8.03 p.m., the victim was stabbed to death with a knife. According to the autopsy report, the victim was stabbed three times, all in the same general location. The crime took place in the Owl Express in the boiler room. I've added these crime details to the court record. Crime details added to court record. Hey, darling, usually if you were the head defense, you'd be able to look at the record, but since you're co-defense right now, I'll just ask occasionally if you want to look at it. Like right now, you want to look at that evidence you just added? Great, take a look. It's a paper attorney badge. DJ Greaves made it for you. You're a 100% genuine attorney. Totally. On the 12th of Berguary at 8.03 p.m., the victim was stabbed to death with a knife. According to the autopsy report, the victim was stabbed three times, all in the same general location. The crime took place in the Owl Express in the boiler room. These are pictures of the crime scene. They were taken on the 13th. Oh, very incriminating. I can't wait to pass down that guilty verdict. I want to do it right now. Not so fast. We haven't even had any witnesses yet. Do you have any more evidence, Conductor? Why, yes, I do. This is our express schedule, detailing the rides that the train had done. It says that this particular trip lasted three days, from the 9th to the 12th. The train ride started at 9 o'clock a.m. on the 9th, and ended at 11 p.m. on the 12th. Pictures and train schedule have been added to the court record. Now listen here, my dear conductor. I hope you know that me and my partner here won't let you get away with a guilty verdict. Ha! And vice versa to you, DJ Pecknick! Gah! We're in a court of law! That kind of language is unacceptable! Eh, who cares, really? <clears throat> well, fine then! The first witness I'll be calling in is a member of CAW! Bailiff, bring that guy in here! Make it snappy or else! Hey, darling, want to look at the court record before the witness comes in? Alrighty, here he comes! Oh, hey, we got Gumshoe here. Alright, give us your name and occupation. Name classified, occupation also classified. My identity must be kept classified. Now hang on there, Lassie. I can't proceed this trial without getting your name and occupation, so coffee it up. The state of, is the state of the universe in jeopardy if I do not comply? Well, yes, totally. Oh, yeah, you know the world will end. All existence will come to a close. I see. Well, for the betterment of the universe, I shall declassify. Name, Anon Ismus. Anonymous. Occupation, Owl Detective. That doesn't look like an express owl at all. I have a very vital and classified sum of information that I shall be relinquishing to the Burn Court. Yeah, that's right. You better. But information is not free, you see. Information is valuable. I'm asking for money, however. Information for information. I shall ask the one on the defense. Riddle me this head adornment wearing neonate. What is your favorite color? The legendary one known as Blurple. Why am I still doing this like I'm a console pleb? Incorrect. It is Smaragdine. You have failed the test, but it sh I shall partake in this provision information regardless. I have to check if that's the color purple that she has as her hat. 
Oh, yellowish green, like an emerald. It's emerald green. Behold. Oh my god, yes. This is great. So I was taking a ride on the Owl Express, when suddenly I hear the outcry of another one of my fellow Express Owls. Due to my great concern of the event, I followed the noise to the boiler room. I walked into a most chilling sight. One of my most dear fellow Express Owls has been murdered, stabbed with a knife. And when I discovered his body, I discovered the culprit too, an old woman. I caught the killer in the act, and then as the clock chimed to signal the moment, the killer was caught. A very decisive testimony, or, and I can't wait to hand down that guilty verdict! I can't wait to hear the victim cry in distress! <laughs> uh, yes, what he said. But since I am currently a judge, I have to be non-biased. As such, I'll be giving the defense a chance to cross-examine. Defense, prepare your weapons of logic. We're on it, your honor. Alrighty, darling, this is the big part. The cross-examination. All you have to do is choose which statements you want more information on. Shout out, hey, and I'll take a look at that statement. You do that by choosing press, and then you expose contradictions by presenting a piece of evidence using the present button. Give them a good zing. But don't present unless you're sure it's right, or you'll get a penalty. Four of those and it's game over. Don't worry. You've got this, darling. That kid was prepared. <laughs> God, this is one of my favorite things I've ever seen. Holy fuck. So I was taking a ride on the Owl Express. Hey! Are you sure it was an Express Owl? Positive. I know what a fellow Express Owl looks like. Sounds like a noise such as hoo, hoo. It was quite chilling indeed. Due to my great concern of this event, I followed the noise of the boiler room. You can hear it even over the boiler. I have extraordinary hearing, I'll have you know. It is one of my Express Owl traits, heightened hearing. I did indeed hear both the boiler and the owl. I walked into a most chilling sight. One of my dear fellow Express Owls has been murdered, stabbed with a knife. Did you check to see if the knife was rubber? And why would it be rubber? Oh, you know, hypothetically. No, we checked the scene. This one ain't rubber. And when I discovered the body, I discovered the culprit too. An old woman. Just because she was there doesn't make her the killer. Ah, uh, but you see, I walked in on the act. I caught the killer in the act. And then as the clock chimed, it signaled the moment the killer was caught. Uh, what? I don't see a contradiction there. Fool! Try thinking next time! Ha ha ha! Penalty! Oh my god, it's actually my life. Oh wait, shit. Oh, fuck! They really should... Chimed? Yes, when a new hour starts, the clock chimes. But it's at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, or in this case, 8 o'clock. Reading what Leo just sent makes me want to... Mm. 
Hold it right there. There's something pretty off about what you just said. And what would be off about such a statement? You say you caught them in the act when the clock chimed, yes, darling? Yes, that is indeed what I said. Does that bother you? It does, actually, because the murder happened 30 minutes after the crime. Kaka! Or 30 minutes before, if you consider the next hour. How can you explain this inconsistency, darling? Hey, now listen here. I'm not gonna take this. Sure, that may be true. But, but maybe I'm mistaken. I saw the body and the defendant. The blood looks fresh, too. I never said I walked in at 8 o'clock or at 8.30. Hmm. Allow me to revise that testimony I gave. It's flawed. Now there will be no lies in my court or else you'll regret it! I did not lie. I simply bespoke and omitted information. Allow me to explain. These voices are kind of hurting my chest a little bit. I hope they're at least entertaining. As I said, I was taking a ride on the Owl Express. I'm not going to tread over my previous testimony as I only need to correct one statement. I arrived at the moment which I assumed to be the moment of the crime. Obviously, I assumed false. I never clarified what time I saw them at. I saw them at 12 a.m. as a clock chimed for a new day. I can't tone it down. It's important. Ah, there we go. The contradiction is eliminated. Take that, DJ Pecknack. Yeah, darling, we have to find a new contradiction in this testimony. You got this. We can find a new contradiction. Whenever someone lies to cover up a lie, more lies are exposed. What do we got going on here? As I said, I was taking a ride on the Owl Express. Do you really need to only tread over one statement? And why won't you? How do you? How do we know there wasn't any problems with it? If there was problems with it, you would have pointed them out. My previous testimony had one flaw, which you pointed out. However, this new testimony doesn't have any flaws. Zero. What a bold claim, darling. It's not a claim. It's a fact. Facts are only facts until proven otherwise. Then prove me wrong. Hat Kid wonders why this crow is so confident in this testimony. I saw the killer and the victim all in front of me as I walked in. I feel my justification for not assuming the crime happened four or so hours earlier is valid. Because why would the killer stand by the body for four hours? Oh yeah, that is a good point. <laughs> good point? I think not. I think it is a marvelous point. An amazing point. It may be the best in the world, day of the universe. Obviously I assumed false. I never clarified what time I saw them at. I saw them at 12 a.m. So the clock chimed for a new day. Well, why didn't you clarify the actual time? I didn't think it mattered. It matters 100%, Mr. Emmas. It matters immensely. Then prove to me that it matters. That clears it up, does it not? Darling, I don't think there's a contradiction here. Fool! I can hear that! No contradiction, no sustainment! Penalty! Zap! Oh god, no. As I said, I was taking a ride on the Owl Express. And then at the 11 p 11 p.m. What is it this time?
Dicks can play a million goddamn MMOs, but fucking tune in to me doing fucking assholes. Just Leah, really. Adib is always here. I'm not mad at Adib ever for not showing up. It says the trains are at at 11 p.m. on the 12th. Oh, how disappointing. I was expecting you were going to pull some sort of elaborate shouting thing. You expect to catch me with that? Easy. I didn't find the body on the 12th. I found it at 12 a.m. on the 11th. On the 11th? The victim had not died yet! Caw! If the crime had not been committed yet, how could you have seen it, Mr. Emmis? Well, you see, I, uh, you, you know, one thing that I should... Caw! Caw! Well... Oh my god, Pecknack! Well, what is the meaning of this? Emmis, don't just sit there like a deer in the headlights! Caw! Caw! This is magic! Come now, it shouldn't be that hard to fix this if your testimony didn't truly have any flaws. <laughs> Darling, that's great. This is so great. The witness should be speaking for themselves. Now, Ennis, do something. The second witness, of course. The conductor knows of the second witness. I mean, I do. Oh yeah, that witness. I know the one. Yes, indeed. One of my fellow express owls. The one who saw the killer enter the room. Definitive proof. Your honor. Permission to call a second witness? Just happened. What happened was you losing. Ha! <laughs> this turn of events make Hot Kid very peeved. Bailiff, bring in the second witness. <coughs> <coughs> All right, give us your name and occupation. Oh, I uh, the dead bird express owl. Well then, Mr. Bird, a previous witness, Mr. Emmis, said you'd be able to clear up the contradictions in his testimony. Uh, um, yeah, I can do that. I saw the killer go into the boiler room. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll testify. Okay, so I was in the dining room, which is two rooms away from the boiler room. Uh, I saw this big old lady. She grabbed a knife from the kitchen. And I saw her walk towards the boiler room. I wouldn't have followed them, but they were wearing my hat. I really liked that hat. So I followed her into the boiler room, and I saw her standing over the body of one of my friends holding that kitchen knife menacingly. Hackhead is now double peeved. Now, now, darling, every testimony has a contradiction, except the ones that don't. But I'm pretty sure that this one does. I think. Press X to doubt. Can anyone confirm that it is indeed two rooms away? It's two rooms away. Oh yeah? How can you be so sure? Cause it's my peck and train, you peck neck. Right. I saw this big old lady, she grabbed a knife from the kitchen. Are you sure it was the same knife used to kill the victim? Pretty sure it had a black handle with three white dots on it. Yeah, that sounds like the knife. Uh, um, yeah. And I saw her walk towards the boiler room. What time was it? How did she walk? She's a cardboard cutout. Cardboard cutout? I have no idea what you're talking about. I, uh, never mind. 
wouldn't have found them, but they were wearing my hat. I really like that hat. <sighs> Same hat, I had to get it back eventually. I gotta do the little jiggle whenever I voice DJ Grooves. <laughs> I can testify to that. I gave it. I gave. I have indeed given his hat back. What the fuck is that? Got it. So I, I followed her into the boiler room and I saw her standing over the body of one of my friends holding that kitchen knife menacingly. So you walked in on the victim being killed. What time? A.M. P.M. V.M. on the 12th. That checks out. Ha! Give it up, Grooves. And express how it never lies. There's gotta be a contradiction here somewhere. The testimony is suspicious. Okay, so I, I was in the dining room, which is two rooms away from the boiler room. Saw this big old lady, she grabbed a, a knife from the kitchen. Oh yeah, photo time, bitch. So you sure that she held the knife for you? You sure she held the knife when you found her? Yeah, she finished stabbing the victim and was holding the knife and dribbled the blood of her enemy. <laughs> sorry, Mr. Bird. Yeah, thank you for your concern. No, I mean, sorry, I'm gonna expose you. <laughs> Expo expose? You sound pretty dramatic right now. Is this a courtroom? That kid wonders why this owl is such a meanie. No. Mr. Bird, take a look at this picture right here. Uh-huh, what about it? Where's the knife? It's, uh, you know, right? Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, that's definitely not where I said it was. So how do you explain this? <laughs> Pretty easily, actually. I just misspoke. You- wait, what? Yeah, I guess it wasn't the victim, but does that really change anything? Well, 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 looks like DJ Loser isn't that great at his job. The lassie over there is better than you. Can I go now? I need to fish my feed my fish at home. Well, then, that's a pretty conclusive trial. You proved a lot of inconsistencies, but they never actually proved who the true killer was. I, was, I guess I could just end the trial here if you're just gonna waste that time. No, wait. Well, then you have an idea of who the killer is, then? Hat Kid did it. Oh no, darling, what is you doing? What are you doing? Hat Kid revealed that she was the murderer. What? Are you for real right now, lassie? Hackett reveals that she took the knife, slowly walked over to the victim, and stabbed him. Oh my god. Please, screen cap this. Oh my fucking god. Then she took the knife and cut up the body into seven pieces. <laughs> this one, two, holy fuck. Then she took each individual body part and ate them, and she savored them. I I, I have to uh alt tab. Actually, and uh, you know what that does. So thanks for being a dick and typing instead of doing it. I'm posting it in the Discord. It's fine. I'm joking. You don't have to do anything. You're doing this to enjoy yourself. I'm just being a dick because I'm annoyed at this. I probably should have been pressing plus. I have this giant thumb fucking button that I can screenshot with. First of all, the victim's body is still intact. Second of all, you weren't even at the crime scene. And finally, just look at you. You couldn't murder someone if you wanted to. You underestimate the extent of that kid's power. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I need to get a drink. I need to get a drink. themselves are gonna not guilty! <laughs> That's desperate! Don't think I've seen that before! Well then, they can't get a not guilty if I just... Okay, we're gonna do that again because there's multiple endings. We are at two hours in and it is just you and me here, Valley Girl, so uh... I'm gonna cut it off here! I am going to cut it off here. <laughs>